Okay, this is a recording about installing the ST2 brake module on a 2015 F3-S Spider. Didn't see any videos about this. So first of all, I'm just gonna say some positives and negatives. So the reason I got this is because my wife and I drive together a lot and she noticed that uh, I'd be all of a sudden just coming, braking like uh, quite a bit in front of her without my brake lights coming on. And it's because the spiders, uh, they have a, a massive amount of engine braking. You can be driving 100 kilometers an hour uh, and uh, coming up to a stop sign 150 meters away, just take your hand off the, the gas and it will engine brake so much. You don't even actually need to touch the brake until you're like 20, 15 meters away from the stop light or less. I've almost come to a stop. And so the point being is, when somebody is following you and you just take your hand off the gas, uh, it can be quite dangerous. And so once she started telling me about that, I started noticing it was really the case. And I realized for safety purposes, not just when she's following me, but when I'm out in regular traffic, I want uh, people to know when I'm slowing down engine braking. So I came upon the ST2 braking system uh, out of Europe but uh, the, it looked really easy to install on all their motorcycle videos. But guess what? There wasn't one for this Can-Am Spider F15, uh, sorry, uh, F3S 2015. So I took it upon myself to figure it out because I felt it was important. So positives and negatives. Positives, it does work mostly. And once you get it going, and I'm actually, I would say, very happy with it. Um, it took me literally a couple of hours to kind of figure it out and uh, where the wires go and looking at the schematics. Um, if you download an actual engine, uh, the manual, the shop manual for it, I think I paid 30 bucks or something. The shop manual actually has the brake schematic, which was still fairly confusing for a non, uh, schematic reading guy. Um, so when I say it works mostly, um, I think that comes from the fact that the wires were meant to actually clip on the quote unquote super easy clip on wires were meant to clip on to a thinner wire than is here. Long story short, I thought that occasionally there was some sort of uh, maybe not making proper contact because sometimes my wife would say, hey, it's not working anymore. And, and I would start checking it. Oh, okay, and I'd maybe bang on the seat or just wiggle things around and it would work. I mean, that's not very um, uh, encouraging, <laughs> to, to say the least, but uh, I would check with her. So after over the last several months, for the most part, it does work. Occasionally, it, it doesn't work, and I'll kind of wiggle around in here again. And, uh, and so it's frustrating. If Martin the Vlogger actually just got a hold of this and uh, made a proper um, harness that could just go in between here or something of that nature, that would be great. Okay, so positives, I love it when it's working. Negatives, it's not really meant to be on these particular wires and there's no like super easy uh, connect in. So first thing I'm gonna say is the box itself, uh, if you put it one way up, it will flash the lights when you're engine braking. It's all based on an accelerometer from what I understand, just inside, kind of like an iPhone has. If you put, the, uh, if you put it another way, it will just flash the lights solid. Uh, now, the first thing I thought I actually, it took me extra time to get the darn thing working is because the way the instructions were written, I thought it said to have, I thought it read such that it meant orient the logo in an upward position as opposed to put it so the logo of the, on the box is facing up. Okay, so that's one thing to note. Uh, you can see through the Velcro here. I've got it so that the logo is actually facing up. Uh, this is, by doing it this way, the uh, it actually breaks on solid. I actually had wanted it to do uh, flashing because I just wanted the maximum amount of, of noticeability when I'm slowing down. And I used it on flashing for quite a number of months. But after a while, uh, when I was would follow my wife and she would follow me and we'd actually notice that uh, it can get confusing because when you're when you're signaling to turn because in the back of a spider it's just two here so these are the signals and the brake lights it's not like a separate brake and signal so when they'd be flashing dun, 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 and then all of a sudden you're trying to signal it would kind of get weird so 
four or five months ago, I switched to just solid braking. It would come on, and then when you're signaling, then the signal comes on. So I'm actually going to keep it at just the solid brake on like that. So what I did was I took the box and I Velcroed it here, kind of taped it down a little bit. It's uh, right in front of that hole. It seems to work fairly well. It doesn't uh, stop the seat. So the wiring, you've waited a long time to get to this point. This is what I came up with was, so you'll see the wire. Actually, it looks, oh, that's, that has nothing to do with. So the STS wire or the ST2 wire, it has four wires coming out of it here and two of them go to this power one. And what I did was I hooked it in right in to this auxiliary power jack, okay? It actually came with a, a thing like this for you to put it into another power thing, but uh, I, I think I think I actually tried to, to put it in there and that's what happened why I closed this back up. It didn't work or I did it wrong or something. So in the end, uh, I just put it right into the auxiliary power. There's two of them. And then over here, this is like a, a brake module box. And from the best I could understand, you'll see there's four. That's a dark color, a white color, a purple color, and another dark color. You can probably tell what yours are better than mine, but they, I'm not sure if there's a different color. They're just dark on those ones. But So I took the white to the white. Okay, you can see that and the dark to the right hand dark. So these two with the power over to the power, white to white and dark to dark. So like I said, it seems to work mostly. Um, I Do I hate this clamp system? Yes, hate it a lot that I had to do that because again, I, this is actually meant for a smaller wire. I think it's meant for wires of this size actually. So I had to really kind of squiggle it around a little bit there to kind of get it to make contact. And uh, do I wish they would come out with a proper plug that you could just kind of put in between here? Yes, I do wish that. So in fact, that's the type of thing that uh, is used for this, this uh, system here that has lights in it. They actually have a, a snap-in system that goes in between the cables. You un unsnap those things and goes in and it works quite slick. So there it is. Uh, I do like it a lot when it works and I hope this will help somebody out there save a lot of time that it took me over and out. Drop the phone.